Hey y'all, it is me and I'm here to show you another tutorial on how to use the pore tightening mask. And some of you have been prescribed the Hydra Serum with glycolic acid. And so I'm gonna show you how to layer this underneath this. Now, if you don't have this one yet, then you just watch how I do the pore tightening mask, okay? And hopefully we can get you into this. Okay, so I'm a little bit Shetty. I did a peel earlier this week and so I am still shedding But I'm going to show you how to do this anyways because my skin is super tough. So first of all the Hydra serum with glycolic acid The Hydra what this does is this helps promote cell turnover and helps your cells hold moisture because as we get older, we lose that water in our cells. We stop producing it so much. And so the Hydra Serum helps our cells retain moisture. And then the glycolic helps with scarring, hyperpigmentation, rejuvenation of the skin. And then your pore tightening mask is an anti-inflammatory and cooling mask that reduces pores, helps pull out bacteria, and it calms the skin. All right, so first thing, if you have the Hydra Serum with glycolic acid, you're going, what I like to do is roll these a little bit just in case they've gotten separated, all right? And then this one has a dropper. Now I've already washed my face and pat dry. You know how I feel about towel abuse. All right, so I'm just gonna take, I am just gonna squeeze it and get, you know, basically a dropper full. And I'm going to put that in my hand. Oh, it's already like, and then I put it on like aftershave, even though I'm a woman. I just pat it on, stay away from the orbitals. Oh, it's got a nice bite, probably because I'm extremely exfoliated. Now, my neck can take anything. What I say about the neck, try it. If your neck doesn't like it, don't do it. Now there are certain products that don't go on the neck like Coleman cream, that type of thing. So if you have any questions, you know to text me or ask me. So I let this get in my skin, fan it for about 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo, spicy, spicy. Okay, remember what I said about your own products? Feel free to double dip. Now, before I do this, I'm going to wash my hands. And remember, I use a dot of cleanser when I'm washing. Yeah, I'm a little bit crazy right now. When I'm going to do things on my skin, I'll use my cleanser, just a little piece size to wash my hands. And again, for those of you who do not like to put your fingers in your products, because you don't like your own bacteria, then get a little scoop and scoop it out. This is really thick, see. So, unless you have a silicone brush, you know, the ones that are silicone, I just put this on with my fingers. Now, the good news about this one is it can go everywhere, even in the orbital area and right underneath the eyebrow. You just don't put it on your eyelid here that's just too thin there, okay? So, what I do is I basically just on. I'm gonna, instead of looking right at you guys, I'm gonna use my camera as a mirror. Oh my God, I look like an old man. Hey everybody, I'm like got some gray hair on my face. That was the stupidest joke I've ever told, I think. Okay, so, and now remember when you're in treatment room, I never double dip, that would be so gross and nasty. Always use sanitary measures. Look, get on that forehead. And do you see, again, it's not super solid, but it's not super transparent either. I call it opaque. Now I'm coming all the way here and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go right up to my waterline. Check it out, look at that, uh-huh. Get that waterline. Do the other side. Why do we always open our mouth when we do stuff with our eyes? We're like, oh. Get your little nostrils there underneath. Okay, 
Now, watch it. I take my pinky because my pinky is little. And I go right above here. Almost like you're putting on some cream eyeshadow. And if you do get it on your eyelid, just wipe it off. Okay. And my Bella. You know, if you see any spots that need more, just, you know, put it on. Oh my God, I look like a mime. Watch this. I'm such a child. Now my neck can take the pore tightening cream. So I like to do it on my neck as well. And notice I'm putting it right over the Hydra Serum with Glycolic. And that just boosts your treatment. It boosts the pore tightening mask. Whatever you put that under, it'll boost it. This goes the nicest with pore tightening mask. Okay. So now you're going to leave this on your skin for 20 minutes. It is really hard to get out and, or excuse me, get off. I use a towel that I've used before. You see how it's all like bleachy because the pore tightening mask, I think it's the sulfur in there or something. It will mess up some towels. So use something when you pat dry that you don't care about if it kind of bleaches a color. So this is part one. It's kind of a longer one. I'm going to leave this on for 20 minutes and part two, I'll show you how to take this one off. Okay. I'll see you in 20. Bye.